Good afternoon, everybody, and happy Sunday. I hope you're all having a day of rest. Welcome back to Thai Talk with Dan. Now, yesterday, we flew over to Vietnam to discuss a subscriber's story about how he got involved with a much younger woman than himself, a 20-year-old, and how he gifted her $150,000 and a $6,000 loan to help her uh, create something special and help poor children. So guys, if you haven't checked out that story, you'll be able to find it on my channel and it was live yesterday. Now we're going to get on a plane and we're going to head back to Thailand and we're going to get a bus from Bangkok to Pattaya to talk about this new story about a bar girl last month and how she become a bit of a nightmare. So without further delay, let's get in to today's Pattaya Thailand story. Hi Dan, just giving you some feedback on my recent low season trip to Pattaya. Feel free to share the story on your channel if you wish. It will show many of your subscribers how easily a man can be taken for money and more. In my opinion, low season is by far the best time to visit Pattaya. The service from restaurants to nightclubs to bars and the girls is just so much better as every single customer is treated like a king as there aren't many customers around. While I have many stories to share, I'd like to focus on one in particular as it's the first time I have heard of a scam like this. I have been to Pattaya over 20 times. I speak Thai and I generally know the game inside and out. However, even I was taken by surprise by this one. So, I met a girl at a bar. Yes, a bar girl scam. Shock horror. I'm 37 and no Chris Hemsworth, but reasonably attractive. So I never have problems meeting girls in Thailand. Working girl or not. This one I met was 31. Reasonably attractive, but not something I would pay for as I can get her type for free at home in Australia. So let's call her Beam. Beam was a really fun girl with extremely good English. She had a great body, long wavy hair and a personality that was just enjoyable to be around. She was like a fun friend. Her lady drinks were always beer and some nights I would bar find her just to go out and party or relax on the beach as friends as her company was pretty great. I told her many times every day that I am a butterfly and I usually bar find a younger beautiful girl every day at about 2pm and then move on to quieter bars to play pool and meet people from around the world and drink. She said this is no problem. She liked having drinks with me at her bar or if I bar find her to go out together and have some fun. After about a week I could tell she was developing feelings for me. It was my birthday one night and she had her bar put on a party for me. She showered me with gifts and a beautiful cake and we had a, a really great night. Towards the end of the night, everyone was really drunk, including me. She took off her gold necklace and gave it to me and said, this is for you, for your birthday. I know how much gold means to Thai girls. Even with my years of experience, I thought, wow, this girl genuinely loves me. We were very drunk at this time and the bar had closed. I told her she can come back to my hotel and I will treat you to a nice day out on the beach tomorrow as a thank you for all the work and money you had put into making my birthday one to remember. She was over the moon with happiness. So the jiggy jiggy went on until the sun came up and then some more as we woke up later the next day. She confessed her love for me and begged me to finish the jiggy jiggy 
without protection. I tried to say no, but she insisted, and under the influence of Sangsum, I did it. The next day, I gave her back her necklace and said, I cannot take this from you. I want to be friends, but I don't have feelings for you in that way. I gave her 5,000 baht for all the good times, as I know the party she paid for would have been at least a few thousand baht, and she can keep the rest as a tip. My time was running out, and it was nearly time to go back to Australia. She called me non-stop for the next three days, begging for me to come to see her. She even begun bar finding herself and going up every soy in Patia looking for me. Unfortunately, one afternoon, she found me in soy six with a beautiful 21-year-old bar girl sitting on my lap. She got off her motorbike and slapped the life out of this poor young girl. Well, what chaos after that. To put it short, I apologised to the bar manager in Soy 6, but he said I'm never to come back to that bar. I accepted that, paid my bill plus a good tip, and took Beam away and gave her a roasting as she had caused a bad scene. The next day I returned to Australia with literally hundreds of missed calls and texts from Beam. I didn't bother reading them all, but I called her when I got home. I told her that I was always 100% honest with you. I am a butterfly and you accepted that from the start. Of course, she wasn't having any of it and became very aggressive. She said, she is at the hospital getting STD tests and she has some very bad news. She said the test results showed she is positive to some of the worst STDs you can get. And if I want to know what they are, I would need to transfer her 20,000 baht. <coughs> for her to share with me the information. What an attitude shift from Beam. Such a great fun person, but a dark side. I now know this is her game. Force a phalang into unprotected jiggy jiggy and then blackmail them when they get home. Of course I didn't pay her and I went and got tested. Fortunately, I only tested positive to a minor STD that is easily treated with a course of antibiotics. Does she have HIV or hepatitis? Maybe. I don't know. Does she do this all the time? Probably. Would love to know if any other subscribers have had this experience in this particular scam or is she a pioneer in this? Cheers Dan, keep up the great work. Right guys, so let us know what you think about this story down in the comments and let us also know if you've had a similar experience here in Thailand, whether it be Pattaya or a different place, have you had an experience like this? Subscribe us, let us know down in the comments also. Normally guys, the biggest scam that you get when you have unprotected jiggy jiggy is basically um, them stating that they are pregnant in order to obtain money from you, your support, and in order to keep you and get you as their boyfriend. However, this woman worked extremely hard to try to win this guy over by throwing him a big party, telling him that she was in love with him. She tried her best to, to, to trap this guy, to get this guy for whatever her reasons were. She did her best to get him. And then this guy paid her up and dismissed her. She got very angry and annoyed about that. And she decided to try to chase him down because she knew that his holiday wasn't over and he was still in Patia. She finally found him in Soy 6 and her jealousy and aggression took over. She seen that he was with a younger, more beautiful model and then slapped her, which was crazy, you know. But she did it. 
and that would have caused chaos within the bar and the other girls would have probably jumped in. So a lot would have gone on that's not been spoken about in this story. Now, she would have lost face due to this and also him roasting her and having a go at her and telling her she's in the wrong, blah, blah, blah. This is not my girlfriend. It's just some woman I had fun with, etc. So she would have lost face in a, in a big way. So when he got home, she decided that she was angry and upset and she decided to tell him that she'd caught an STD. And if he wants to know the information about it, then he should send her 20,000 baht. 20,000 baht is the cost for losing face and the STD is designed to hurt you from making her lose face and for all the hard work and effort that she put in to try to get you. However, again, it could have just been a setup to try to scam this foreigner from the start. What do you guys think? Let us know if you think it was a genuine setup or she just simply lost face and decided to try to hurt this guy in the best way that she thought of at the time. Now, guys, if you've got a recent Thailand story, then please feel free to type it up and share it with everybody by emailing thaitalkwithdan at gmail.com. Now, I hope everybody's having a nice Sunday. For me, Sunday should be a day of, re of rest and relaxation. So I hope you're all getting much of that. And if you're not, I'm sorry. Guys, take it easy. And maybe there's another story coming soon. I can't promise anything. Like yesterday, I said there might be another one, but my son was running rings around me. But he should be going home shortly back to his mum's. So I might have time for another story. So in the meantime, guys, take it easy and ciao for now.